So Uncle Sam, new Pan Am. What a fucking weird. They just wanted stuff to write. They were probably getting tired of an inquest to attend unveiling of modern military control ally. I mean, issue suppository to ease rash of bowel disorder in area 42. So, we're going to uncover a new airplane on this mission. This is a great lost mission. I want you to infiltrate the main base and find out what the warlords are planning. New additional content. Don't worry, Fox. I wiped out all the smart monkeys in the last. You must really like this. They got left or a couple of hairy knuckle alpha males who don't know thing one about intergalactic warfare. I mean, come on. Any plan? I don't know why. But like, I kind of felt like these. Like, I don't know why, but I kind of feel like these type of games that I probably know somebody that would play this in real life. Uh, you probably do if you were actually for a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. I think this would be my type of game because of my like. I think it would be my type of game because it's cartoony and I love the cartoony style of everything. Yeah, maybe. I mean, at the same time, it is a shooter, so it's kind of like. Hmm. But yeah, this this hmm. level is in. It was one that's like would be super interesting back when it was released because it's like. It's got that stuff to it, like the this part of the world has that, it does, um, however, hit the, blackjack the mechanics that were compelling for Hitman when it first came out on the PS2. But nowadays it's just like, fucking whatever, <laughs> you know, like it's not really impressive, it's just like average level design and shit. So, you know, I kind of like do what do it still, do what I do, while, you know, it's like multiple different ways you tackle situations and people and all that, you know, like, it's very human the water ass, tower talking this about creeps, prudes, and necklaces. What a nerd. Yeah. I wear a pitch. God, I've got a I can see what those snazzy suits are discussing with you. Just, uh, a booming heading right now? Yeah, so it's playing a game, um, it was a void, post void that was released, which is like a, a game that was signed, like stealth released by default with digital, um, onto Steam. It's like, oh yeah, we're out now, and it's just like, okay, who is this, what is this, and I'm like, oh well it's three dollars, so I might as well check it out, and it's just like, Oh my fucking god, it's not just how they constructed the trailer, it's like the entire thing, it's just a seizure, do you see fucking turd, it's just I'll absolute just schlock, like the missions will be done in like half a minute, each, each level of mission, there's only like level of missions, and it's just like, it's absolute fucking hot garbage, <laughs> this is a lot better, I mean, mm. it is obviously a lot more money than you, you generally think, you know, if it's just a fuck up, it's probably garbage, which it definitely was, but yeah. This, this isn't really ready yet. Too. The X-13 was working just like fine in the trials last open. week. That, that guy just turned his head sideways. You should be like, hiccups. what the fuck is that alien doing? <laughs> Like, yeah, like what the hell? Right now to see like, this thing fly. Are you they, telling me they it can't? Had some so I could get on this roof as a human. But not just an alien. You're standing there, like glowing. I'll give you a setback. I'm gonna bring your whole goddamn agency up on charges. Oh, this is gross incompetence. Save it. Why don't you show I'm your guests? I'm not about you, but I always found those hats. Stand. You know, those '50s military or sailors hat that they wear. To be really I didn't pay goofy, 40 million dollars to, like to see another goddamn so nuclear like test. One of those, um, I paid to see the best goddamn fighter plane ever built. I ask you know, like I'm going down to Sector 13 the, myself the and find out what the hell's going on. on. On my water and just General. see stale. Like maybe out of cardboard or paper. You know, like you the, don't um, need to go to Sector the 13. The test flight will even. go ahead as planned. What? Just Seems a second ago, you like said the X-13 wouldn't fly. I yeah. said it wasn't ready. You, you flip it upside down, it's like... Your demonstration will go on as scheduled. 
And it doesn't really Trust protect us. your head or anything. It doesn't cover it off. <laughs> yeah, because you can trust the government for anything. We do? It's high does. time we let the base's head warm. Go and probe the mind of the human called General Higgs. Without these scientists, the prototype won't General I like how it's scary this game, but it pops his talking too we much. Must and eliminate them. Do the Discreet line. <laughs> Do try to avoid attracting attention. Without these egg heads, we could never finish. Man, the voice acting in this game I have always liked, but like, yeah, you know, it kind of brings you back like an old school so style, exact, you know? Then he's like you said. It's the voice acting is all like really good in Destroy Humans. It's, it's definitely like one of the most memorable things I've ever seen. Because all the games are pretty. Want to shoot me some reds. Like their voice acting is all just as good, even in like the worst entries in the game. Oh, I gotta admit, you know, like the voice acting is still pretty stellar for it. It's still pretty good and on point. Even for like the sheep, Big Willy. Like it was still pretty fucking. Well, at least from my what I because it was like Einstein. about a decade ago <laughs> since I played them. To be fair, but I remember them all being really good. So, yeah. It's been a decade oh, ago. Yeah, this game specifically it was 15 years. Well, for me, it was 14 years since I played it because I played it a year after it came out. And played Destroy Humans 2 immediately after completing. Like, immediately. Yeah, only day. Yeah, I didn't waste any time. Course, I could use a did you tell a commercial about the second game, or did you know about it before the first game, or...? I, I didn't see any commercials or nothing. You, back in my day, my how you found out about games was you went into a store and you saw it. That all you heard about uh, from kids in class, because generally game... I, I saw practically no games be advertised by TV unless they were they like fucking line. Pokemon or something. Sucker. You know, like yeah. I'm happy fun, the big one. It was really more, yeah. It was more merch that would be advertised. You know, like toys or fucking like um uh, those those little fucking what are you on Tamagotchis or plushies or you know stuff like that is what I'd see ads for march here, march there, I wouldn't march actually yourself, generally see talk. ads for games I remember some kids brought video games to school like you yeah, know 100%. Game Boy yeah, Advance exactly. yeah. Man, that guy's or a DS I know there was a mobile game of this. I can't remember if that was like shitty GBA. Of course, because just about every big game had a shitty GBA. My mind says Cliff, but my body says like the crash. Monty just ain't no <laughs> Which is funny because the people who made the shitty GBA crash games actually made the remakes for Crash. That you know the the like Crash Four and all that. They're being made by the people who did the GBAs, which is really surprising because those remakes and fools the enemy, really good. Make some noise. Well, then again, technology has improved over time, so no wonder why anything could be pretty good, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, sure, but, I mean, they were working with absolute garbage, working with, like, a GBA, like, trying to render a 3D game, and they were doing, like, into a side, like, 3D kind of game. It's like, what the fuck are you thinking? You know, like, what do you, what do you think's gonna, you know, like, it's gonna, gonna obviously be like a spoon to, which is like that weird game that you know of, very cool from the flash one. I don't know if, how the, um, any of the players for it, so if you need to watch, um, I don't know if you're in a line of, like, the Xbox or something, maybe, that was a different game, it was like, pretty garbage or something. But if you talk to a you saw you humans like fan fan boy or fan girl, they would probably be like, don't ever talk about that shit again. Yeah, people I mean, I'm glad that a lot of people um, which I find really surprising considering when I look back at Distro Humans 2 and I see like how bad 
satisfaction in segments left. But like a lot of people generally feel like this is what we I mean, you know, like, like I said, like there are a lot of people that, you know, um, there's a divide in the community where there's like really hardcore people who are like, I fucking hate Parkour's Fury. Some people are like, you know, I want to see big words unleashed, um, get a board to these one day consoles. And it's really interesting because it, it's so divided. Um, just about everyone seems to want to sort of use too, which I, I both find really interesting and bizarre as well as like, the aesthetic or the, the feel you get from a, um, you know, kind of like the appeal of being an alien and all that. But the main, the main draw to it is just fun, having fun in free roam, destroying everything, you know, like, like back in the day, I don't know if you ever played Rampage, that game, where you essentially just played as King Kong smashing up buildings, just wreaking havoc, which was just like a side-scrolling game, and pretty much literally all you did was jump on buildings and smash out the windows until the whole thing collapsed, that's all you could do, but it's just like, when we got this a 3D game, it's essentially just like the next step in it, and it's like, that's, the Superhumans doesn't, uh, two, didn't do that well, the story so like problem. this game does. Somebody go past the guard, snuck into Hangar 12 and wrecked the place. Destruction started just feeling fun. Looks that way. There. It feels really fun. And it's the first one. game. But like number two, it really nails that and people seem to fucking love it. We came pretty close. So I reckon it's pretty close. Right. Right. People trying to get it. That, that's what the it's second all about, it sets foot on base, I want it captured. <laughs> and don't tell yeah. Armquist. We don't need any I, more help. I, 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 I mean, I hope the. Like, I hope a lot of people Whatever you say. of this game actually have good reviews of the remake. Does it? They already do. They already do, yeah. It's overwhelmingly positive. I... The worst that I've seen is from IGN, who IGN pretty much just, you know, anything that's not overly bad or whatever, like, decent product, they'll still give, like, at least a 7. Because everyone thinks for some reason anything below 7 is a bad review. But, oh, yeah, the, um... What is it? The humor or dialogue is kind of boring or repetitive. Some stay of the times, you know. Doesn't always land. And there are some General drawbacks to a good one like in your own game. Might be to be fair, too there is kind of damage humor, but I wouldn't say it's so much of being a Never too busy to watch the Air Force fall flat on its face, Jack. To be honest, I think it's more the fact Corporal that they're Patterson, making let's show it our guests what this bottle rocket, bottle rocket can and do. And the drawback of that is the fact that they don't have much of their own ideas injected other than the gameplay, you know, like, they've Vertical limited themselves, for instance, on new people commissions, new Radio content, and like, they've only sort of changed, um, certain things with the challenges, they haven't had any That's new it. challenges, or That's new your game works, or Patterson. new things to get do with the free line, you know, stuff to actually right interact second, with, or, or he's gonna be testing go you know, new enemy types, they haven't had anything like that. 40 that's million where I'd dollars say it's, for that? it's a 15 year old game where those sort of lines of ring true rather than repeating that kind of crap. And I wouldn't say the humor is really stale, like it does kind of get repetitive with like the um, communist stuff. Like by this point in the game, it's like you know, everyone would have been almost, I don't want to say conditioned, but you know, like they're, they're pretty like. Yep, okay. Well, I've, I've had my laughs now, you know, and just kind of moved on. And I appreciate that you commit to it, because it's like, we'll you know, this, this is a big part of the story, you know, how we're playing A and all. stuff, it's commies. Let me just load up the old and it, it sort of does make sense for this time period, but at the same no, time, it's like, listen, yeah, Richard. the jokes, at this um, very moment, they are preparing a nuclear there are only so many times I've thought weapons of range. them in this a game. A nuclear device? Don't yeah, swear. They, there is that also another thing I like. Good as dead. The level's becoming repetitive. That one is definitely the one that is like, I 100% um, do. Hypnotized with the humans in command. No crypto! 
I mean, this is one of your favorite game series, Destroy All Humans. I mean, I wouldn't say Destroy All Humans 1 was, like, the worst of them, but it definitely, like, because it definitely did a lot in the first one that was, like, the Let others. Let me just load up the old really disintegrator ray and I'll be but off. But I always struggled to have as no! much fun in it as Listen, I did the Richard. others. At this very and like moment, I said, that's, that's mainly because of when it was made, the, a the nuclear device, the technology, Don't which swear it. a lot that of that gameplay stuff dead. has been fixed now. You know, like, for instance, the unintentional difficulty of certain levels and situations, like the final boss that I told you about, which is still somewhat difficult. You know, some people have actually s spoken about how they find that difficult, even though, like, compared to nowadays, the, the final level is, like, piss easy. Even though you know, it is still so much but like comparatively, the it's like it's so much easier, you know. Um, but yeah, it's it's still my favorite, one of my favorite franchise game franchises. Back as a kid, it was um, my one of my two favorite game franchises. That the other one being uh, Russian Clank, and. Um, I definitely played it a lot, but I played the other ones way more, like a hundred percent, definitely. Even Big Willy, I played more than one. Even though Big Willy is one that I'm like, don't mention it, don't talk about, you know. But like, it had more guns, you know. Like it had the zombie gun, for instance. Like I spoke about it last LP part, or it will be last LP part, which was um how it should have like a zombie gun or something. The game should have like a zombie gun or a cow, uh, a cow zombie mode, or you know, something, something crazy, or something wild, or something that's just a little more fun. You know, it has that kind of gimmick that will give me an hour or two extra of, of fun and enjoyment, and just like, wow, this is crazy and out there, wacky, you know. But like, that crazy zombie cow thing was like not even thirty uh, minutes of crazy uh, right. this game. Just miss the, the bit that I likely had more radioactive cows in uh, for a short section, you know, because I was literally just mentioning the radioactive cows in a bit and how weird it is they don't have more sections with it. It seems really out of place not with the just inside of this bit or, or this part of the uh, game, rather. But, um, it's something nice, yeah. This is, this is one of the, um, 
parts that I mainly remember from my childhood being one of this game that just gave me an absolute correct whenever I thought of this game. You know how I kind of like mentioned that all the area 42 levels is just one big level whatever. Yeah, this is one of the ones that I think I'm super hard, but it's like, it's really not big how it is. Just escorting the arm. I do have a moment of being super happy when I got to the end. I also weirdly remember having the arm post fight during this level. Like right at the end of the field. So that's... That's weird. Because there's a lot more arm post in the game after this. Is you will find out so far. It's, it's like your main one of the game. I would like Silver, uh, yeah, Silver Quest. Oh, Silver Quest, I should right. say. Yeah, main, main rival, main antagonist character. Yeah. I, I'd say is your old rival and Silver Quest, your antagonist. There's some main rival in the story elements. Yeah, of course. You gotta have your big bad, otherwise it's, it's just like, you know, killing everyone, you killing everyone. Oh yeah, that makes sense, I guess. It makes it more compelling to, I mean, when you, whenever you have a big bad arrive, like, you got a super power being the guy or the, like, telekinesis powers and telepathy powers, you know, all the mind powers, right? It just makes sense to give him a big bad villain, you know, like a, a, an enemy to fight. Like, you don't want, like, faceless nobodies. <laughs> so, of course, you're you right. give a face to the, the army that is fighting the opposition. Humans want to disarm the you, you've already Stop. seen them at this point. It's just, um, they haven't been much more than a talking piece so far. Just like, you know, that guy in the army breaks to start the army. The radio tower, um, the the TV broadcast station, I should say. It's just for your end. Do people know you're doing this? Um, what, in Discord? Like, I'm just recording on a stream, so. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, do they know that you're doing a uh, stream? Um. Like I said, I'm not streaming, but if you mean like I'm making a recording and getting money back, then they can... If they're my friend, then they click on me, then I should be able to see it on the last so if you make the recording, and it just shows one process when I can do that you're doing on Discord, and then it comes up where it goes on that side specifically, like say, this is a video game, which is just a complete lie, so it's like that say, Google, and you should know that you have this called way on the back. You should know more than this. Ash? Oh no. I didn't you like you me. people know that you're live streaming for YouTube. Well not live streaming but recording for YouTube, my bad. My question. <laughs> um I literally just decided to do this on a whim recording. If you mean, do people know that I'm recording for YouTube? Are you fucking talking about hitting us? Keep on hitting us! I decided to do it right here, right now. I don't know if it's just made it up or not. Depending on whether you want to do it or not. You gotta ask me about it. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't mind recording with you. It's the first time ever. Well, third time, I should say. Yeah, yeah, third, third day, because people look and be like, well, hang on, it's actually like the seventh bit or something. You know, whatever LB part it will be, but I make my little recordings in, in a saturated day. I'm just kind of just put it on the head and it's like, it's like just smooth. I'm just like drawing and watching the game trails even. These machines. Yeah. Uh, the reference, Pox made a reference everyone. 
Which back then, that was nothing to me. Back in the day. It's like what a fucking kid would know anything about fucking rage against the Oh, rage against the Yeah, it's bad thing. I, I didn't even know about it for like a couple of years in high school. Like, <laughs> the fuck? Man, oh, you played this during your high school days? Uh, I, I don't like them, I don't really care for the band, but um, I didn't know about them until high school. Because like, one of the things with metal um, was like, it was one of those things that your parents, or like, a lot of people would be like, that's bad for kids, you know, don't show them that, don't expose them to that <laughs> kind of thing, you know. Military well, flight. Well, yep. To be fair. My dad was the opposite of that. <laughs> yeah, he had an interesting dad. Military flag, factories, words, stars and stripes, shower citizens in American glory. That's what they call explosion? Or good news for farmers, radiation <laughs> might increase plant growth. <laughs> yeah. I don't like how that got in like weird. Alquist, you want yeah, to explain to me why our troops are bags. abandoning Area 42? Oh uh, no, too big bad. Yep. Everything's Is under there control. Quiz, the old really? Man. So the airfield hasn't been destroyed by one of our own nukes. Whenever I it's look at him in this version, the, you know the way that his he pants look, so like it just makes me feel like he's Don't worry. he's got catch him. fucking arrogance. That's what you said in Santa Modesta. But Frankly, he just, General, he just I'm looks like to someone else. You know, like a grandpa oh, or something. I'm that explosion you know, like meant to take me out. Like, God, I You're saying this communist spy has a powerful personal vendetta against you? Maybe you don't get the mindset we're up against. No, no, General, I'm taking you very seriously. Uh, yep. The President should hear this. Get yeah, back he, to he Capital just, City. He, he like I don't take me. orders from you. In this matter, <laughs> I speak for the President. He you looks like that to you? Yeah, he just... Like, I'm his hair doesn't stick. look like he's that old, but everything else about him does. But it's really weird to me. Well, yeah, I bet, like, the character designers are kind of different. You know, I mean, I kind of wonder, did they redid the character designs in this game, or did they keep it the same like the original? Um, I believe I told you before that they made him cartoony. I mean, I don't think any of the characters specifically um, were designed differently from the original. I think it's just more the art style of every character was changed because, you know,